Hey guys, Digital David here. Today I'm excited to be unboxing and reviewing for you a watch press by the brand. It's OUHU. And it's just a coincidence, but I did unbox and review some OUHU um, LED badminton birdies, which are pretty sweet. I'll actually link that video to this video just because they are the same brand. Um, I bought both of these items off of Amazon, so it was just a coincidence that I picked the same uh, manufacturer. But anyways, Really excited about this. I thought I could attempt changing my wife's watch battery in her fossil watch. And I was successful and I bought some awesome batteries off of Amazon. Watch batteries are super cheap on Amazon, especially if you can uh, scroll through and maybe don't get the ones for Prime. And then you can get like a massive pack of them for like two or three bucks, depending on what sort of battery. But anyways, I replaced this fossil watch battery with a lot of success, but it's got this snapback that I just can't get back on. I tried a bunch of tricks and tips from YouTube. Couldn't do it, I gave up, I bought a watch press. It was less than $20 on Amazon. Go ahead, check out the link in my video description below. It'll take it to Amazon, you can read reviews, see photos of this, that sort of thing, check the most accurate price. But really excited about this. I brought the watch down because I'm gonna unbox this and then we're gonna go ahead and actually use it and see how we like it and if it's successful. So that, without anything else being said, let's unbox it. All right, first thing we see is a microfiber cloth. That's really cool, we'll go ahead and set that out of the way. Here's a need help, contact information, which is exciting. They got a bunch of emails for their offices depending on what country you are in, which is cool. Here's the watch press itself. I believe it's gonna be pretty straightforward, but I'm not positive, so we'll have to go ahead and see. But general concept, you put these in there to line up the back, and then you push down and it'll press it into place. And then they give you a bunch of different sizes to use for your watch, all the way up to, let's see, 50, is that 50 millimeter, I believe. And I looked online, my wife's is 36. So let's see what we got here. I'm just try to lay them all out for you. 44, 42, I mean a bunch of different sizes. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 different ones they give you. All right, so the general concept is you're gonna to wanna to choose one die that's one size bigger than the watch, watch's crystal, and then you're gonna do a smaller die on top. So let's see if we can find one. Should just push right down. I heard it. All right, that worked great. I could not get that to work on my own without this tool. So that was really exciting. I just switched it to a little bit of a bigger one, almost the whole size of the back, so it could really push it right in the seal. It worked great. Hard to believe this is all that trouble that I was doing. I just needed this tool to get that done. Not sure what I'll do with this in the future now. I guess I'll hold on to it. Um, cause this watch battery will probably die in the next couple of years too. And I'll continue to then be able to be the snapback watch master. Now, what is interesting I noticed when I put it back on this watch, it looks like it's a little off. So I wonder how that will affect any of the dials or anything, but not seeing anything being affected drastically right now as I adjust the watch. So, pretty cool. Yeah, everything appears to work just fine. So yeah, great watch press, really neat. Really excited, got a bunch of different stuff in the future, I guess, if I wanna help change you know, some friends' watch batteries too. Great little tool to have. Thank you, Amazon, for just selling just about anything. And appreciate you guys watching. Hit that like button, hit that sub button, and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks.